We all have our little quirks, but let's be real. My queens, there are certain habits that only Sigma females can truly understand. These are the kinds of habits that make us unique, standing out from the crowd in ways most people can't quite figure out. They might seem a little weird to outsiders, but for us, they're second nature. So let me ask you, my ladies, have you ever found yourself doing something that just feels right to you, even though it leaves others scratching their heads? That's the essence of a Sigma female, our ability to navigate life by our own rules, guided by both intuition and a deeper stoic understanding. Today, we're diving into six of the weirdest habits that only Sigma females like us truly get. And trust me, these aren't just surface level quirks. They're rooted in how we approach the world, powered by the stoic principles that give us strength and resilience. We are Sigma females after all, and while others might seek validation or conformity, we thrive in our independence. We don't just go with the flow, we carve our own path, even if it means being misunderstood along the way. It's this inner drive that makes us who we are, and these habits are a testament to the deep stoic philosophy we live by every day. As Sigma females, we don't shy away from our quirks, we embrace them. And what's more, these so-called weird habits are actually our superpowers, giving us a unique edge in a world obsessed with fitting in. From how we think and act to how we communicate and build relationships, everything is driven by an inner compass, one that's finely tuned to stoic wisdom. And let me tell you, my queens, once you recognize these habits in yourself, you'll understand why they set us apart. They aren't just random behaviors, they're the subtle but powerful ways we assert our strength in every situation. So let's get into it. We'll unpack these six habits one by one, revealing the deeper stoic mindset behind each one. You'll see that these aren't just quirks, they're part of the fabric of what makes us Sigma females. And by the end of this journey, you'll have a new appreciation for these habits and how they define our Sigma power in a world that doesn't always understand us. Number one, feeling frustrated when others don't think logically. As Sigma females, we naturally value logic and reason above all else. We navigate through life with clarity, cutting through the noise to find the truth. So, when we encounter people who operate on pure emotion or make decisions that defy logic, it can be downright frustrating. We're not trying to be difficult. Our minds are just wired to focus on what makes sense, and when others can't follow that path, we struggle to connect. It's not that we think less of people who act on emotions, but we find it difficult to relate to a mindset that feels chaotic and lacks structure. Stoicism teaches us to embrace reason and avoid being swayed by unnecessary emotions, and we've taken that to heart in every area of our lives. Our default mode is to analyze situations, look at them from every angle, and make the most rational decision possible. So, when others jump to conclusions or react without thinking, it can feel like we're speaking different languages. We want to understand, but it's hard when the emotional approach seems to contradict the facts staring us right in the face. And let's be honest, queens, it's not just about frustration, it's about feeling like an outsider sometimes. We often wonder, why isn't everyone seeing what I'm seeing? Why doesn't logic prevail? But stoicism reminds us to stay calm in these moments. It's okay if others don't always align with our mindset. What matters is that we stay true to ourselves, keep our cool, and continue walking our path with wisdom and reason guiding the way. We know that not everyone will think like we do, and that's perfectly fine, because we don't need anyone's approval to keep shining. Number two, needing time alone to recharge. Here's something only my fellow Sigma queens will understand. We absolutely need our alone time. It's not that we don't love being around people, but there's something deeply restorative about being by ourselves, gathering our thoughts and recentering. When we're in social situations, we can be fully present, but after a while, it can start to feel draining. It's like we have an internal battery that gets depleted by too much social interaction, and the only way to recharge is to retreat into our own world. This habit isn't just about escaping social situations, it's about recharging our emotional batteries and preparing ourselves to face the world again with strength. We thrive in solitude because it allows us to reflect, plan, and connect with our inner selves. Stoic wisdom teaches us the value of solitude, allowing us to reflect on our lives, 
our actions, and our goals without the distractions of the outside world. In these quiet moments, we can hear our own thoughts more clearly and make sense of everything that's happening around us. And honestly, queens, isn't there something empowering about knowing you don't need anyone else to make you feel whole? We Sigma females are perfectly content in our own company, and that's where we often find our greatest strength. Alone time isn't loneliness, it's our way of reconnecting with who we are, away from the noise of the world. It's where we recharge, refocus, and remind ourselves of our power. So while some may see it as antisocial, we know the truth. Our solitude is our sanctuary, and it makes us even more unstoppable when we step back into the world. Number three, speaking bluntly and directly. Let's be real, my ladies. When it comes to communication, we Sigma females don't mess around. We're straightforward and direct, and while some people might find that intimidating, it's just how we operate. We believe in the power of truth and don't see the point in sugarcoating or dancing around difficult topics. If something needs to be said, we say it. We value time, both ours and others, and Stoic principles remind us that clarity and honesty are virtues worth upholding in every conversation. We're not being rude or harsh, queens. We're just efficient. We don't believe in wasting time with unnecessary fluff, especially when the truth is what matters most. Some people might mistake our bluntness for being cold or detached, but in reality, it's our way of showing respect. We respect people enough to give them the truth, even when it's uncomfortable. And honestly, wouldn't you rather someone be direct with you than leave you guessing or trying to decode what they really mean? But we also know that not everyone can handle this kind of honesty, and that's okay. Part of our journey, as Sigma females, is learning when to soften our approach, when it's necessary to temper our bluntness with kindness. Stoicism teaches us the importance of wisdom in how we communicate, and over time, we've learned that sometimes the delivery is just as important as the message itself. We can be both direct and compassionate, and that's a powerful combination. All right, my queens, pause those victory laps for just a moment because we've got something truly epic to celebrate. This incredible stoicism for her community that we're building together. Every like, comment, and share is pure rocket fuel for this journey. You are the reason I'm so passionate about sharing the power of stoicism with unstoppable Sigma females. But hold up, boss ladies. We're only halfway through our journey, and before we dive back into mastering your true Sigma selves with stoic wisdom, let's take a quick break for a message from our supporters. Consider this moment as sharpening your inner Sigma sword for the challenges ahead. If you haven't already, make sure to like, comment, subscribe, and turn on those notifications. And don't forget to share this video with your friends on social media. I will love you forever for it. We'll be back in no time to unveil the next chapter of Sigma Female Mastery. My ladies, my queens, you are unstoppable. Number four, overthinking everything. Now, this one might sound familiar, overthinking. But as Sigma Females, it's not just about getting caught up in details. It's about analyzing everything to the core. Whether it's a decision, a conversation, or a situation, we're constantly seeking the deeper meaning, wanting to understand every angle. While this can sometimes lead to analysis paralysis, it's also one of our greatest strengths. We don't take things at face value, and that depth of thought is what sets us apart from the rest. Stoicism encourages us to reflect deeply on life, to understand ourselves and the world better, and to never take anything at face value. Our overthinking is just another way we live out that stoic ideal of thoughtful reflection. We don't want to rush into decisions or make impulsive choices because we know the importance of considering all the possible outcomes. Yes, sometimes it means we get caught up in the what-ifs, but it also means we rarely make decisions we regret. But queens, let's face it, overthinking can also be exhausting. There are times when we just want to turn off our brains and go with the flow, but it's not in our nature. Our minds are always working, always analyzing, always seeking the best path forward. It's a blessing and a curse, but we wouldn't have it any other way. We Sigma females are thinkers, and our overthinking is part of what makes us so unique. It's our way of making sense of a chaotic world and staying in control of our destiny. Number five, 
loving routine but craving change. Here's a paradox that only Sigma females will get. We love routines, but we also crave change. It's like we find comfort in the familiar, yet we can't stand being stuck in the same pattern for too long. On one hand, our routines give us structure, stability, and a sense of control. We thrive on habits that ground us, like our morning rituals or our daily schedules. But on the other hand, there's this burning desire inside us to break free, to experience something new, to challenge ourselves and grow. This might seem contradictory, but it's just how we're wired. Stoic wisdom teaches us to appreciate stability, but also to embrace the impermanence of life. We've mastered the art of finding balance, maintaining routines that ground us, while seeking out new experiences that challenge us and help us grow. It's not about being restless or dissatisfied, it's about evolving. We know that to grow, we have to step outside our comfort zone, even if that means disrupting the very routines we love. And my queens, isn't it amazing how we can juggle both? We can stick to our routines when we need that sense of control, but when it's time to shake things up, we don't hesitate. We know when to pivot, when to take a risk, and when to dive into the unknown. It's this beautiful dance between structure and spontaneity that keeps us on our toes and makes life so exciting. Number six, preferring depth over small talk. Finally, my queens, let's talk about conversations. As Sigma females, we don't have time for small talk. We crave deep, meaningful conversations that spark thought and connection. Superficial chatter drains us, and we'd rather spend our energy discussing ideas, philosophies, and life's big questions. It's not that we're antisocial, we just value substance over fluff. We want to walk away from a conversation feeling enriched, not like we've wasted time discussing the weather. Stoicism reminds us to seek wisdom in our relationships and interactions, and this is exactly why we Sigma females prioritize depth in every conversation. We value the power of words, and we use them wisely, whether in personal relationships or everyday encounters. We believe that conversations should inspire, challenge, and connect us on a deeper level. If we're not talking about something that matters, we'd rather stay silent. And here's the thing, queens. It's not that we don't care about people. We care deeply. It's just that we want to know the real you, not the surface level version. We want to understand your thoughts, your dreams, your fears. We're not interested in the small talk that glosses over who you really are. And when we do engage in those deeper conversations, it's because we genuinely want to connect. Because for us, real connection is everything. Now that we've got that handled, let's keep the momentum going. We've already seen how these habits make us who we are as Sigma females, but here's the best part. They're not just quirks. There are power moves. These habits allow us to navigate life with clarity, purpose, and an unshakable sense of self. While others may judge or misunderstand, we don't let that affect us. We know who we are, and we move through the world with the grace and wisdom that only Sigma females possess. Stoicism teaches us not to seek approval from others, but to remain grounded in our inner values, and that's exactly what we do. As we master these habits, remember they are the foundation of our Sigma mindset. By speaking bluntly, seeking solitude, and embracing change, we refine our lives with Stoic wisdom. We don't get rattled by challenges. Instead, we respond with logic, patience, and resilience. These habits build our inner strength, something no one can take away from us. These unique quirks are our secret sauce. When others question your differences, remember you're not here to fit in. You're here to stand out and live life on your terms. That's the essence of being a Sigma female. We are feminine queens who don't need anyone's permission to own our power. Thank you for joining me today. I hope this video resonates with you and empowers you to embrace your Sigma habits. Welcome to Stoicism for Her, where we grow stronger and wiser together. Like, comment, and subscribe to stay connected, and share this video with friends who need a reminder of their Sigma power. Until next time, keep living by your own rules, and remember the Stoic wisdom that keeps us fierce. My ladies, my queens, you've got this.